hi everyone this is Ahmed welcome to the power tutorials today's video is an on request video I have received a request from one of you guys to create a step-by-step -step guide on how can we uh, use power automate to extract data from a PDF file that is uploaded to a SharePoint library and then using that extracted data to update the properties of the same file uh, we will cover that along with that we will also cover how can we use that extracted data to update a SharePoint list so let's get started welcome back everyone how do we extract data from a PDF document that is uploaded to a SharePoint library so to do that we would have to build an AI model using the AI builder functionality in the power platform and then we'll use that model to extract data from the PDF files and then we'll use that extracted data in the power automate flows to update the properties of uh, that file along with updating a SharePoint list with that information so I've already created some sample files just to demonstrate this so this is the sample file uh, we have this information available in these files the format is going to remain the same so I've created six such files just to demonstrate this so we'll be using this template so to start building uh, a model we would have to click on this AI hub once we click on it, we'll get to this page. Click on AI models, we'll get some of the popular options at the top. So the first one, if you see, extract custom information from documents. So this is uh, what we are going to use. Just click on this option, click on create model. After loading uh, for a few seconds, it would reach this page. Uh, you'll get these options. So you just have to follow the menu to build our AI model. Just select the required you know, type of the document and click on next. Then it would ask you to choose the information to extract. That means what are the pieces of information that you would be extracting. So we would be defining those fields here in this section. If you look at our PDF templates, we will be recording all of this information. So first field that we need is invoice number. So we will get back to our model. We'll click on add. This is the text field. You just select the text field and type in the required name, whichever you like. I'm just in using the same one invoice number. Click on done. Then add another. The next field here is date. So we'll be using a date field. Next, we'll let, give it a name. Let that be invoice date. And the format in the invoice is month, day, and year. So we'll select the required format and then say done. Likewise, we'll add all the fields which are required. So here I have added all the fields that are there in our invoice template. So once we are done, uh, adding all of these we can click on next now it would ask to add collection documents so collection documents would be the sample documents that we would have to provide it uh, to train the model so you can add more than one collections here so let's say uh, the type of document that uh, you would be processing might have uh, maybe three different formats so you can add uh, different uh, you know multiple collections here to train the model and then model would be able to recognize uh, all of those formats so for now we'll be training it with just one set of documents so once I click on new collection then I, we have to click on this plus sign to add the documents click on add document and then it would ask us to upload those documents we can upload these documents I'm just using five uh, documents to train our model these are the documents we have uploaded we say okay upload five documents it would process and upload the documents when they are once they are uploaded your next option would be activated you can click on next and now it would ask you to tag the information all the fields where is the information that you're looking for on the template so once it is loaded so you just have to select the information so this information is invoice number 
this information is invoice date this information is customer name this is product likewise we would have to do for all of it quantity unit price and invoice value okay this we would have to do for all the documents that we have uploaded so here i have done that for all the five documents once we do that we would get the next option we can click on it and it would take us to the next part of the model and then we click on train it would take a bit to train the model then we click on go to models and we have this model which is still training you can see once it is done you'll see the status is trained we can click on the name of this model to see the details here we can see is giving us providing us with the option to uh, publish this model so before using this model we would have to publish this model so click on publish so now the model is published and we would be able to use it so the first part of the problem extract information from a PDF file uh, is done we have covered that now let's move on to using that information and updating uh, the properties of the file and then updating uh, the SharePoint list with the same information so we have this uh, this is the SharePoint list invoices that we would be updating uh, and then uh, we have this SharePoint library which is documents that we would be updating with the information we are extracting let's head to the power automate flows to do that just in uh, the power app studio click on flows you will reach this page click on new flow and this would be an automated flow because we want this to happen whenever uh, a file is uploaded to the specific folder so uh, this would be an automated cloud flow so click on automated cloud flow give it a name and then select the trigger which would be when a file is created so if you see uh, there's an option when a file is created properties only just click on this one and click on create so here we are uh, our flow is created let's set up our trigger select the site uh, where the, the the document library is from which you would like to trigger this flow and then select uh, the library name now add a new step now if you notice this is when a file is created properties only so what it does is it only pulls the properties of that file and not the actual file or the content first we need to pull the content the data in that file in order to send it to the AI model so we would see get file content using path Let's click on this one select the address of the site which would be the same as the trigger and then select the file path which would be the file path from the previous step so if you type in path for in the dynamic content you will see full path select that it would capture the contents of the file we click on this next step just type extract extract information from documents just click on this connector and choose the AI model that you would like to use which is only one model we just created select this one and now what is the type of the document it would be a PDF document select the document the content from the previous step which is the get file content which is here get file content from the get file content using path select this this document that we just uploaded would be sent to our AI model so now uh, once this content of this file which was uploaded are passed through the AI model this AI model would return us the fields that we have asked it to so now we would be updating the properties of this file which was uploaded with the information that we have received from the AI model which is the previous step so now what we'll do we'll update file properties search properties you would have update file properties connector 
in the SharePoint then select that then select the site which would be the same as the previous uh, the first and the second steps select the name of the library you're referring to and what is the ID of the file it would be the ID of the file which was created so just type in ID and when a file is created ID this file this is specific file you would like to update so if you look at this this is the document library I have added some additional columns using this add column function okay which are the details from inside our uh, PDF file which is the invoice number the invoice date the customer name the product so if you notice here this is being registered here as properties and we have the option to update these properties okay so in the beginning when we upload the file because these are not the default properties so these would be blank and then we will update it later uh, by extracting the information from within the PDF file so from in invoice number I would like to update the invoice number value from the extract information from documents similarly we would fill in all these fields in the invoice date we will update invoice date value customer name that would be customer name value under product we will say product value and the invoice amount that is invoice value value uh, and description is a default field if you have something uh, in the PDF document you would, you would like to update here we can use that if you like to leave it blank we can leave it blank now the first part of our flow is done which was to uh, update the file properties with the data we extracted from the file now we click on save and let's test this part then we'll continue on updating this information to the SharePoint list the trigger is when a file is uploaded in this document library so these are our sample invoices so you can see right now there's nothing in the document library so let's update one of these files here let's upload one of these files here this has been uploaded let's go back and see what's going on with our flow so you can see the file is uploaded plus all the properties which are here are blank and once our flow runs uh, it would update these values let's see what is going on with our flow we can see our flow is now running you can see the flow uh, has succeeded let's see if the properties of our file has been uploaded let's refresh this so we can see now all the properties have been updated with the information extracted from the PDF file using our AI model so that was the first part of the question that is to update the properties uh, now the second part was to update the SharePoint list I'll just add one more step here uh, you can use either of these two last step or both of them totally up to you we would create an item in the SharePoint list okay this is the SharePoint list we can see this list is still blank we didn't add that part in the flow now we are adding create item select the site address which is the list is and then select the list you'd like to update which is invoice numbers and it would give you the options to update all the values now fill in uh, the values that we are getting from uh, the AI model and save here this is the invoice number value now we have invoice date that is invoice date value then we have customer name customer name value quantity value and invoice value value
which is this and then we click on save so this part that is the create item every time uh, a file is added this connector would create an entry in the SharePoint list which is here okay, so let's upload one more file in this library let's upload all of them in our document library you can see these are uploading and we can see all the properties are blank in the beginning once our flows uh, are successful all of these values would be updated and this time we would also get all of the data updated in this SharePoint list as well see what's going on with our flow you can see all of these are running all of them are successful let's look at the properties as we refresh this so we have all the properties have been updated and then we refresh the list and we can see all the values have been updated in the list as well so there you have it guys we have successfully extracted data from the PDF file that was uploaded to the SharePoint library and then use that extracted data to update the properties of the same file and to update a SharePoint list if you like this video and if this video has helped you please give it a thumbs up if uh, you'd like me to cover something else please leave a comment below I'll try my best to do that for you if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video thank you for watching guys see you in the next one